welcome back guys during the commercial break we made our way outside to our garden studio and why do you ask because what a better way to make sure that your dad knows how much you appreciate him than throwing some delicious food on the grill but you can't do that without some tips that's why we brought in our friends from Louisiana Smokehouse we got Marcus and Q here to help us make sure that our grilling experience is the best one that we can have guys thank you so much for being with us today thank you for having us yes yeah, so Marcus the first th first things first we want to talk about safety making sure that if you are going to be grilling out with dad that you are safe and you do everything that you're supposed to do awesome that's what i'm here for so first of all you want to make sure your grill is in a nice located position you know what i'm saying you want to make sure your propane tank the propane tank is kind of pushed as far away from the grill as possible mm -hmm. go ahead and start lighting your grill if you're using charcoal i suggest you use odorless charcoal you know a lot of people be like man your meat tastes like charcoal your meat tastes like lighter fluid we don't want so, that <laughs> no. <laughs> Just keep going. It's okay. All right. So, <laughs> odorless lighter fluid. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to need. So, your meat don't taste like lighter fluid. Yes. They said you can pick this up at Lowe's. You can pick it up at Home Depot. You can pick it up at even Sam's Club. Also, when you light your pit, you want to make sure that your racks are clean. So, you want your good grill brush that can get between the racks, get all that old grease, get all that old crud out, because grease starts fires. So you want to make sure you clean it very, very good. There you go. I'm cleaning the grill. I want my wife to go and start seasoning my meat. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to do all that because it's hot out here and I'm already tired. <laughs> so we got Q back here getting it all ready for us. So Marcus, we want to make sure that we achieve the best flavor. So what do you suggest as far as seasoning? How much do we put in? What do you What do you suggest? Now you're asking me to bury you after this recording. <laughs> I got to show what my seasoning I get. There we go. Check this out. This, my grandmother always told me, all you need is salt, pepper, and garlic. All that extra seasoning, you don't need all that. So this is called Kinder Seasoning. You can pick this up at your local Sam's Club, Shreveport, or Bossier, or wherever you at. Look for it down the seasoning aisle. It's called Kinder's. It has everything you need to pack your burger, because that's what we're cooking today, our famous Beezy Burgers. Yes. Everything, I promise you, it will be full of flavor. There you go. That's all you need, so make sure that you pick it up, guys, the Kinder's seasoning. So she's she's fixing the meat right now, and what are you doing over here with the grill to get it ready, Marcus? Well, I'm just trying to make sure my temperature is right, so I'm going to close the grill top. I got my temperature gauges right here. I want to get my grill up to at least 350 before I put my meat on there. You don't want to put your meat on there before your grill gets to temp because it just messed up the texture of the meat. Okay. It won't be as tender as you want it. So you want the temperature just right. Put your meat on there and get ready to rock and roll, man. And we are ready to rock and roll. Q, are you ready to give us some meat to put on the grill? <laughs> yeah, all right, so let's get it on there. I'm hungry, and I know I'm about to be hungry whenever I smell that. So, Marcus, whenever she gets that meat on there, tell us what you're going to do. When she put the meat on here, I'm just going to make sure it's positioned right on the grill. I'm looking for some great grill marks. So I want to make sure the meat is positioned right, make sure my patty is nice and firm, make sure my temp is, is up to par like I told you. Close it down, man, and let your grill work. I there know you go. You steady walking back and forth, <laughs> opening your grill, opening your grill. That's a no-no. Let your grill work. Trust your temperature gauge. Let your grill do what it's designed to do. There you go. Let the grill do all the work, but Q is doing some more work for us. If you want to give them the rest of those meat patties, make sure that we get them on the grill and get it going. Marcus, what do you suggest that we pair the burgers with? You can't just have a burger. We need to have some side things to you go along with it. Things. Well, you know, I like my seasoned fries. <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I like my seasoned fries, but what my wife loves to do, she likes to take whole potatoes, cut them down, wash them, drench them, soak them in this special seasoning she does, and just throw them in the fryer, some nice home seasoned potatoes. Man, you can't beat that. You can't pull in nobody dry through and get those. There you go. So guys, if, if people are watching us at home right now are saying, okay, this might be a little too much work. Maybe they don't have a grill. You guys can do all the work for us. Tell us a little bit about Louisiana Smokehouse. This is my favorite <laughs> part. <laughs> yes, we can do. Give us a call. 318-550-8469. We'll be more than happy to take care of all your grilling needs. If you don't want to stay in this heat like I'm out here doing now, that's what I do. <laughs> I'm going to take care of your ribs, brisket, chicken, smoked sausage, hot links. 
my wife's famous potato salad, whatever you need, man, we got you under control. Louisiana Smokehouse, 5108 Juella Avenue, located in the heart of the Moortown community. Come see us. There you go, Marcus, it's like you practice that or something. You think so? You're passionate about what you do. I love this. There you I go. There you go, guys. So make sure that you have the best food for dad. The best way to show him that you appreciate him and that you love him is to make sure he has a full belly and make sure that it's a good one. So call our friends at Louisiana Smokehouse. Guys, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you thank for you. having us. We're about to have some burgers, and for now, we're sending it back to the studio to Josh for one final look at our forecast, and I'll see you tomorrow.